In this video we're going to get started uh, with pandas and uh, so we'll learn a little bit about what the fundamental data structure uh, for pandas is as well as learning how to uh, access uh, data using this thing called the data frame and that's what pandas is going to be using uh, but first of all what we'll need to do is download the source code and then unzip it because there's some files in there that we're going to be working with and we'll need to copy them into whatever working directory on, on your computer. So there'll be a source code file, and at this point we are, you would have already downloaded the environment file and then unzipped that and then loaded it up into uh, Anaconda so that we have the right uh, environment file in Anaconda, but also you'll have to download the source code file because inside here, along with some other Python, there'll be some other Python files in here, but we have these files uh, that we'll need uh, as well. There's some CSV files and then a spreadsheet. So you'll have to copy these files over into your working directory. So I've already done this. I've created a folder called pandas uh, in my uh, in my home directory essentially and I've copied over all of the things that, uh, that we'll need. So after I have this set up and after I have Anaconda set up we can get started uh, with pandas. So you'll want to open up your Anaconda Navigator and make sure that you have the right environment uh, selected. So if you remember uh, at this point, we assume that you've already downloaded the zip file, you've unzipped it, and then imported that into uh, Anaconda. So we've already covered how to uh, do that. So make sure that this the correct one is selected. And then we're going to launch Spider because we're going to be working uh, in, with Spider. So I already have an instance of Spider running here. So you'll just get a, an, empty, an empty document here. And then this IPython console where we can see our output. So I'm going to just save this file in the same directory as where I keep the spreadsheets. So I'll just call this something like intro.py, for example. So I'll save that, and it's saved uh, in the same directory. So now I can uh, load files or anything from that in because everything is nice and neat in the same directory. OK, so let's get started. So we'll need to import uh, pandas. So we'll do import. Pandas and conventionally, what, what people you see people do with pandas is, is you don't want to keep typing pandas over and over again. So you usually do an import alias. So we can say import pandas as pd. And so now, when uh, anytime I'm doing anything with, with with pandas, I can just say pd and then a dot. I don't have to say the full uh, pandas. It's just a, a easier way to shorten up uh, the the import and saves us some typing. Then I'm also going to import uh, numpy as np just so that we're going to use it to populate data, so just so that we can see it. So I have these two things imported. So now we're going to talk about what a, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about pandas and, and how it works and what the fundamental, uh, what the fundamental data structure behind pandas is. And the thing is called a data frame. So a, it's called a data frame. And a data frame, you can think of it as just being a, a single spreadsheet. So you can think of this as being a kind of spreadsheet. It's really just a 2D table with rows and columns. It's really just what a data frame uh, is. So like if you open up Excel or whatever you use for spreadsheets, one of those sheets would be an example of what, what a data frame is. They're very, very similar. But using pandas gives us a lot more power behind how we can uh, work with it as opposed to working with this uh, on a spreadsheet. So to so uh, let's, let's let's actually create a, a data frame, and uh, there are ways that we can load in uh, existing data, but we'll get to that uh, later. But yeah, so let's just create a data frame from just some data that we have. So remember, it's a two D table. So how how I can define a data frame is I can use a dictionary first, and then give it to pandas and say, hey, can you convert this dictionary into a data frame? So let's just create a uh, let's create a data frame, or let's create a dictionary that will hold all of our data. So this is something like. Um, and you'll sometimes you'll see just df, and that just know that this is short for uh, data frame. Uh, a lot of the documentation and other people who use pandas usually abbreviate this as being df. So we'll just create Python dictionary, and uh, it's just going to hold some data. So now the way that uh, we we have to hold data here is uh, what we'll do is we each of the keys. Are going to be columns, and the 
uh, the values are going to be rows, or the, or the, the, or the values of the rows for that particular column. So maybe I'll, I'll type something in so you get a better understanding. Suppose I have something called column one. Now I can just populate it with some random values. We'll see. This is where I have NumPy comes in. I'll just do NumPy dot random dot rand five. So essentially, what I've done is created a single column, and it has five uh, rows here. So let's just create this data frame first so that we can see it, and then well, we'll see how we can add more columns. So now I'll just do df equals such, again a short data frame, just trying to get you into that uh, mindset of when you see something like this, it's generally meant uh, for the data frame. So I can just create one by saying pd dot data frame, and then I just pass it in this dictionary. So pass this in. Now we've created a data frame. So let's see what. Uh, let's, let's see what this looks like. So I can run this guy, and you'll see I have column one, and then just some random garbage values from uh, NumPy. So notice that the columns are labeled, which is super useful when we want to do things like fetch columns, for example. So you can see I have a column one here. I just have some fake data, and I have five rows here. So excellent. Now, now I, I've, uh, I have some understanding of what this data frame actually looks like. So let's go ahead and create another column. So on, not, not recreated with the column names, but we'll just say, we'll just do this again so that we can see this. Now it's from this guy again. So now we see we have two columns that are, have uh, some data. So let's just create another one and I'll do that right here really quick. So again, let's create another one and run this. You'll see now we have three columns. And so this is just how we can give uh, data into uh, we can give data to pandas into a data frame just by using this dictionary where the keys are the columns and the values are going to be the actual values for that column and so it's all automatically going to index our rows here uh, for us so now that I have this uh, let's see how we can uh, we'll see how we can fetch a uh, some rows and how we can fetch some columns so let's see about how we can fetch some rows well we can just Index it like you would a list. So we'll say, well, let's get some rows. I'll get rid of this guy. And so when I run this, you'll see that we'll get the first uh, two rows because remember that this goes starts. We start at zero and we go up to, but not including this index. So we get zero uh, and one. If I just wanted to get the first row, I would say uh, just one. And I can run this and I'll just get the just the first uh, row. So that's how we can fetch some rows. So you can, again, you just treat this as being a uh, just like just like a list. Now, fetching some columns. This is interesting because the columns have names, and so what we can do is do something like print df, and then inside of here, instead of using an integer or a slice, if they're using a slice like this, instead we can just see what the column name is. So let's do call one, and uh, what that will do is when I run it. It will get me all of the values for a particular column. Actually, let me comment this guy up so we can see it a bit better. So, what it will do is print out all of the rows, all the entire column, all the rows for this particular column, and it even goes so far as to help me uh, by telling me uh, the the data types. So that's one way I can. Uh, this is how I can work with a uh, how I can fetch a column from a data frame. So, how do I know all of this information about pandas? Well, let's check the documentation. So if you head over to pandas.pydata.org, you'll hit on the uh, pandas the pandas homepage, and uh, we can look at the documentation. Just click on documentation here. And you can see we have all kinds of documentation. There's also some other information that you might need. And so if you go on the left here to IO tools, we can click on that, and then it can we can see the functions that we can use to uh, you know, read CSV files. So, so if I can just click on read CSV, you can see I have the documentation uh, here. So file path or buffer, and then there's all kinds of different uh, information here that we can use. And so, you know, not just reading from uh, CSV files, you can also read from uh, JSON or, or Excel or, or um, HDF5. So this is the, um, you can always look at the pandas documentation. There's also a search bar uh, towards the bottom here that you can just search for function names uh, in case you're curious about the documentation. So this is the uh, pandas documentation. Feel free to reference it uh, when you have questions about uh, certain functions. So we're going to do a challenge now, and it's going to require you to uh, 
uh, briefly skim through some of the Duck Pandas documentation and also get you a bit more accustomed to uh, looking through documentation uh, overall. And uh, so what we want to do is select multiple columns from our data frame. And uh, so we, just, we, we not select one column, but we want to select multiple columns from our data frame. And I'm going to give you a hint. Uh, if you go to the documentation, the answer you're looking for is going to be somewhere in this section towards the beginning called indexing and selecting data. So if you look for it on the left uh, here, the answer is, this is quite a long page, but the answer is actually going to be towards uh, the top uh, of the page. So uh, see if you can skim through the documentation and uh, see if you can find figure out how we can read multiple columns from a data frame and we'll be right back with the answer. All right, so in order to fetch multiple columns, uh, instead of just using a, a string here in this index, we actually use a list inside here. So suppose I want to fetch the first two columns, I can say something like print df, and then inside of here, instead of doing just quotes here, I can do a list. Oh, so I have, I'm indexing and I'm giving it a list to index on. So I'm gonna say call one and call two. And what this will do is, this is the index I'm giving to the data frame. And so in the side of this, I have a list of columns. So it's gonna get both of those columns. Let me comment this guy out so we can see it. So now if you see, we have extracted two columns and we can you know keep adding as many columns as we want, but here we can extract multiple columns from our pandas uh, data frame. Actually, if you go back here, uh, scrolling down just a little bit, you'll see here is the documentation that says how we can do this. It says you can pass a list of columns to the index to select the columns uh, in that order. So in here, we're selecting B and uh, A, and that is going to uh, extract uh, the columns uh, there. So we can select multiple columns using this uh, here. So let's go back to the IDE. So in this video, what we have done was learned a little bit about what data frames are, and they're just, you know, you can imagine this being a single Excel spreadsheet, just a 2D table with uh, rows and columns. We learned how to create a data frame using a dictionary, and we learned how to do things like fetch rows from it, or fetch uh, columns, or in this case, fetch multiple columns from uh, the data frame. This is a fundamental structure uh, of Pandas, so we're going to be using it a lot moving forward. We'll learn about all different kinds of uh, functions that we can add. And as always, please feel free to go to the, to the documentation if you have any questions about uh, if you have any questions about uh, syntax or what kind of cool things that you can do with a data frame. The documentation has uh, everything that you need. So that's what a data frame is in Pandas.